get into one of these little toolbox tours that uh, seem to be so popular. I don't think. Gotta have the stickers. Eh? Gotta have the stickers. Pickle tats. Long story. Anyway, we got the uh, pry bars. Little grabber tool jobby. Extensions. Quarter inch deep. And shallow. Impacts. These are uh, all my everyday stuff. You know, 15, 13, 10, 7 mil, all these torques. And if you don't have one of these magnetic sockets, you're missing out. Uh, impact deep and shallow, metric and swivel, blue point bits, rough and tough screwdrivers. All my everyday junk, like pocket screwdrivers, scrapers. The infamous nuts and bolts. Oil change stuff, or two sensor wrench. Disconnects, disconnects. Spare wheel locks from sets that I've thrown out. Save the keys, get you to the mess. Half inch torque wrench. Three eighths fire. Quarter inch fire. You know the deal. Refractometer. Chains, lifting, wrapping stuff. Whatever. Fluids, wire. These are pretty cool too. You know, the super shallow impact sockets. It is what it is. Laptop. Hey, hey. Scan tool. Inspection cam. It's actually a pretty cool little deal. Air hammer bits. Big and hanger rivets. Chisel holder. Chisel. Uh, files. Long picks, regular picks, mini screwdrivers. O ring deal. Uh, let's see what we show you here. It's a miniature Torx kit. Uh, pen light, digital caliper, spark checker, bits, batteries, picks. Uh, Torx, picks, and a ratcheting screwdrivers, trim tools, regular screwdriver set. Yeah. Flexible screwdriver. It's a yeah, gear wrench. Pretty handy for some of those uh, rad hoses and throttle body stuff. And the pliers. Um, this strippers, crimpers, van pliers. Uh, these I use for pinch hose pliers. This spark plug wire pullers, uh, engineer flush cuts, uh, snap ring pliers, internal external snap ring pliers, uh, channel lock stuff, uh, infamous PWZs, these round styles are actually really good for pulling off rubber hoses, uh, snap on hose clamp pliers, pretty cool just a bunch of various snap-on stuff uh, another pair of pinch off pliers adjustable super long stuff 
the kiwi pliers more snap ring pliers uh right here's a battery nut pliers and a uh, battery terminal spreader They're pretty cool more hose clamp pliers wire shears snap ring pliers exhaust clamp or uh hanger pliers and a big ass pair of channel locks the uh uh-oh drawer there's top holders random cheap drill bits for destroying usually these are pretty cool they're extractor ratchet wrenches from different size on your end <laughs> handy when you need them some snap on extractors step drill bit the spark plug repair stuff uh, more extractors stud extractor this actually works really well more extractors more extractors max stud removers and installers pretty good deal buy one get one free standard metric is here for lock nuts stripped wheel nuts left hand thread stuff hammer them on rip them out the huge impact drivers right here this little buggy the vessel this uh looks like a phillips they call it jis and uh it's an impact for your japanese rotor screws um some more damaged wheel nut stuff 17 19 21 is deep same and shallow uh, snap on tap and die set you all seen that a uh, half size 22 22 and a half flip socket your swollen wheel nuts No big deal. Some more extractors. Irwin drill. A uh, Mac tools impact. The new Mac. Strip wheel nut. Slash bolt remover. Grass ones. These are pretty cool. Maybe I can show them to you. So they're drill bits for your quarter inch impact. They're pretty cool. For quick change stuff. Okay. Some snap on drill bits. And the infamous re threader kit. All the same. Snap on, lang, whatever else makes them. Okay, uh, 3 8 wobble plus quarter inch regular chrome, some extensions with a magnet, sticks through the socket, holds your fastener, they're pretty cool. Also some adapters the same way, so you go quarter, 3 8 the magnet. Uh, random extensions, there's a locking extension, some really long ones, really long ones here in the back, the back behind there, Sunex shallow 
profile. And then some super short 3 8 extensions, the gear wrench ones, and one inch, I guess. Thumb ratchet. The uh, half inch ratchet. Another half inch ratchet. It's like an old like, 32 tooth. Still works. Super long quarter inch locking set up you can pull this out put a bit in there pretty cool deal quarter inch drive handle use it as an extension or as a nut driver uh, quarter inch ratchets really long one breaker bar quarter inch hard handle quarter inch hard handle flex Two stubby 3 8 flex, regular 3 8 quarter inch body, 3 8 head, super handy for running stuff out. Just a gear wrench, uh, snap on 3 8 flex head, snap on 3 8 flex head short, and a super long 3 8 Ever so infamous electrical drawer that nobody can keep clean. Uh, let's see here markers and pens, the temperature probe, some back front probing pins, uh, piercing probes, markers, pens, still uh, little homemade current testing adapters jumper leads, attachments for the multimeter, spare fuses, wires, whatever. That's some snap-on terminal release tools. Really, the only one I really use is this guy. You can just change the little wire and that call it. Uh, some mirrors, that one lights up, so I switch on the back. Butane soldering iron, also made by one company, Weller, I think, but uh, very hard on butane, actually, so I just use an electric one. Automatic strippers, Torch 300, awesome sauce. Camo power probe, of course. Test lights, power probe multimeter, Probably the best crimpers because they do not release until they're fully crimped and then it'll let go. No guessing. Uh, remote starter switch. This little guy is pretty cool for cutting the uh, wiring harnesses open. It's okay, but it's it's there. Um. Another butane torch, a uh, butane of course. Let get this Let's see, uh, amp clamp, current clamp, whatever you want to call it. Some long feeler gauges, like really long, some angle guns. Another current clamp with the uh, BNC connector for the scope extra parts and pieces, fuses, connections, a uh, scope on a rope, I guess they call it, digital readout, lights up red and green, whatever, a uh, little tiny battery tester, it's actually really cool, another multimeter, a voltage probe, so you get it like a, kind of like a test light deal, with a digital readout, some different connectors, other test light, power source for inside. Okay. Show that in your cigarette lighter. Place for your power probe or your test light. Good ground, good power, and you can also test your outlet with the bulb.
Seven pin trailer testers. So, you know, this is all your, all your testing for you. Look for the blinking light. Monkey could do it. Um, snacks for sure. Magnetic stuff. Uh, wire brushes. Uh, snap on brake spring tool. Another brake spring tool. One of those. Coated side post battery wrenches. Handy. More brake spring tools. Brake hold down stuff. These files are the cat's pajamas. I made by Mueller Cups or whatever it's called. There's a, a little one and a bigger one. It's like Asian and domestic or something. Who really fucking knows? Uh, more brake tools down there. Oh, this little guy's pretty cool. He's got, uh, let's see if you can see it here. Where's it at? Right there on the side. Little magnets. You put your little hold down piece in there. It doesn't fall out. Eh. <laughs> Tubing cutter, the ratcheting kind. A um, spark plug gapping tool, lock tight, more pens, of course, pocket pry bears. <laughs> These are pretty cool. Maybe, maybe I'll show you, maybe I won't. <laughs> Little push rods out of a uh, snowblower. Make great punches, actually. Piston pushback tool, knife, hand cleaner. Torque angle or torque gauge. Oh, same as everyone else's, just a different name. Uh, different rolls of wire. Parts cleaning brush. <laughs> My wife's business card. Tape measure. Duct tape. A little bit of stay fresh. Snack money. Salt tappers. <laughs> Uh, spare 10 mils. <laughs> Just never know when they wander off. Okay. And the money drawer. Um, magnetic rails. They're also chrome, super shallow sockets. Uh, snap on quarter inch, shallow and deep. Gear, uh, metric. Gear wrench, SAE, and metric. I don't know what they go to, like five, four to 15 mil or something crazy. And let's see. Um, I forget who makes these. Ultra Pro. So your Napa here in Canada. Uh, snap on deep metric. Standard metric, uh, Mac, half inch drive, universal. A right, little light over here. Axle nut sockets. <laughs> Homemade socket. I made for doing the Ford uh, cylinder head temp sensor. Actually, some more random stuff. Uh, 24 mil 12 point. I feel like it's Volkswagen for some reason. There's another one back there. Outer tie rod socket. Okay. Slide that over your stud. Hit her with the air gun. Rip her off your inner. You're done. Oil pressure socket. Four wheel drive sockets. Big ass socket that makes an awesome seal driver. Deep universal metric. 12 point metric. Chrome SAE, two SAE snap on, nine sixteenths and half inch. That's like your two main for exhaust clamps. Mm -hmm. 14 mil hex, Kasubru, a Mac O2 sensor socket. 
a Mac swivel, snap-on swivel, some other random sockets and adapters. I can't remember why I ordered them. Uh, the super long Torx for the um, The wheel bearings on a, uh, I think it was a Ford van. Uh, flip sockets, super deep Mac sockets. Awesome for gas tank straps, the long stud. Uh, Ford 21 mil, torque strip, half inch drive. These are pretty cool. Uh, half inch to uh, three eighths. Transmission extension, uh, snap-on semi-deeps, uh, chrome metric, snap-on, chrome metric, 3.8 snap-on. Uh, these are pretty pretty crazy, actually. They're uh, magnetic, so your rubber boot don't come out, get stuck on your plug. I've got the four, I've got the 14 mil ordered because the rubber keeps coming out of that one. Uh, hex bits, torx bits, SAE hex bits, super long ones, just cheapies, triple square, and more torx, like the gear wrench ones. A uh, half inch drive, 12 point, I think it's 12 mil, yeah, 12 mil max. Flex head gear wrench, snap on breaker bar, a uh, super long snap on with a hard handle, and, uh, another snap on breaker bar, and a uh, what is that, 100? Yeah, 100 foot pound torch step. Here are a set of Tecton offset. I'm telling you, these things are awesome as shit for doing like uh, your pinch bolts on ball joints when your control arm sticks out and the nut for your pinch bolts over here. These are awesome. Mainly all I use them for, honestly. Uh, the Mac some knuckle savers some are just the old ones uh, 8 to 19 snap on super long zero offsets awesome blue point ratchet wrenches some random as shit offset SAE and a 55 inch pry bar There's like a, uh, a belt tool. You hook your belt, kind of run it around your pulleys. Super handy. That there is a monster wrench extender. Put your wrench in there. Get a little leverage on her. You need her. Some gear wrench SAE. This is some various large wrenches, Jet and Sonics. Uh, a set of Sonics. I think they go. 25 to 32 mil and the ever so famous snap on flank drive plus from 7 to 24. Okay. Um, some more craftsman, super large ones, inch and a quarter, inch and an eighth, whatever. A uh, stud wrench that I've honestly never used. Uh, giant adjustable. Some big ratcheting wrenches, 22, 21 mil. Uh, Snap-on flare nut wrenches in metric. Sunex SAE. Um, one inch 12 point snap-on. 18 mil. A uh, alignment hook 
for your old style adjuster sleeves. Mac bit drivers, some random stubbies, your uh, ignition wrenches. They're pretty cool. The uh, snap on crow's feet, but that uh, red holder just pulls apart. So you select the one you want, grab that tab, grab that tab, pull them apart, and you can grab the half, take them all out. Uh, some snap on reversible wrenches. Not really excited with those, honestly. Um, some stubby ratchet wrenches, and then the OG gear wrench, gear wrenches. Uh, cabinet screwdrivers. Um, use a flat one every now and again for weird hose clamps. Uh, T handles. Clutch fan, wrenches, Allen keys. The windbag, awesome for locking and unlocking cars. Wedge that between your door and your body. Pump it up. A little, little deal. Pop rivet gun, blue point scrapers, tie rod separator, inner tie inner tie rod and tool that I uh, had to replace the clamp portion of it twice now. Wiper puller, stretch belt remover and installer, a uh, T60 for the Ford rear wheel bearings. And get you around the tone ring and get her done. It's, uh, it's pretty awesome. But there's a uh, steering wheel puller, another battery terminal puller, Steel puller, pin snips, pitman arm puller, bearing separator, random pullers, pullers, harmonic balancer puller. I had to buy a new forcing screw for my uh, wheel hub tool, the axle popper for my slide hammer. I think that's the OP. Let's see? Yeah. Uh, hammerish items, uh, rubber mallet, little tiny dude, soft face, inner tie rod end tool, different adapters for that, Some forks, right. some lady slippers back there, Wilton hammers, Mac hammers, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> okay, so the best air hammer of life. 717 with the uh, 498 shank. If it ain't coming, that'll bring it. <laughs> Titanium, old air ratchet, craftsman, I think. Never used. Put it on down there. So, yeah. Ingersoll with the uh, adjustable exhaust. Mac right angle impact. Hey, the, uh... oh, like I was saying, the uh, dead angle impact. Ingersoll, regular air hammer. The Sunex HD with the what is it? One horsepower or something? Ridiculous. Red angle air drill. Air drill. Die grinder. Quarter inch. Die grinder. MG325. Air blower. Hub prep tool. You doing brakes? Get one of these. Just clean them, guys. Not a big deal. Ingersoll air saw. Way more handy than you would actually think in automotive. OTC axle popper. Bolt that onto your wheel studs. Put this bolt in there and push. Grease gun for the air tools. Extra swivel. 
bolts. Whatever. Oh, yeah. And the uh, oops. snap on tack angle torque wrench, of course. Four drill, quarter inch driver, three eighths impact, quarter inch ratchet, and the long neck three eighths chargers, lights, lights, <laughs> lights, and uh, the magnetic boots for the 14 fours. But uh, I can't stop them from cracking and then the tool slips out of the boot. So my dealer warranted them and that's where they're going to stay. Okay. Uh, big ass three jaw bullet. It's a uh, bushing driver. Vacuum pump. Infamous hub smasher. See you guys. Seal puller of sorts. It's like a slide hammer. Put that behind your seal puller. Almost time to go, isn't it? Okay. Uh, power probe circuit tracer. The uh, vacuum gauge. Brake wind back tool. The big uh, rotor and drum puller. The wheel bearing press. So race driver and my inspection camera that's up there. Serpentine bolt tool. Super cold. Oh, shows the snap on timing light. <laughs> Bolts for my truck transmission. Uh, pressure tester. Snap on, snap on air lift, power steering pump, fully pulled, uh, a set of those alignment hooks like we showed you over there, and a cheapy set of strap ring pliers. There's like right angle, 45, miniature ones, but when you need them, you need them. The uh, good old burp bucket with all the fittings, awesome sauce. Subaru ball joint puller. This thing is worth its weight in gold if you do Subaru ball joints. That threads onto your stud. This piece pushes on your spindle, tighten your nut, and suck it right out of the spindle. Don't break a sweat, and you're not late for dinner. Exhaust gas tester for your engine block and your cooling system. Make sure you don't have a head gasket. Oxygen sensor remover, fuel pressure gauge, annoyed lights, and axle shaft rethreading dies. Awesome. A compression tester, oil pressure gauge, uh, universal pilot bearing tool, GM. Weird brake spring cooler, a uh, air hammer pick and pour kit, inline flaring tool, bubble flaring, double flaring, extra gloves, and then a bag of fittings with oil pressure, oil pressure gauge. 
uh, the Plan B gun. <laughs> Camshaft holding tool for Ford. Clean hat, clean shirt. Uh, some books from school. Old catalogs and a binder for my receipts. Extra loaner tools. Yeah. Cleaning stuff.